Hi, in this video, you will learn how to select disputes. First of all, we're gonna go to the dispute center. Because I have this contact here, in the task manager, I can simply click on the red gumball, and go directly to the dispute center. Otherwise, you will go to the contact and click on the red gobble of the contact that you want to do. For example, I could do this, click the contacts. And then from here, I will select the content that I want to go to. In this case it's John Smith, so I will click the red gobble. Same thing, but if you have it in your task manager for whatever reason it will be easier. So there are many ways to select disputes. I'm going to mention just a few of them, but, you can imagine that they can be combined. I mean the systems that I'm going to explain can be combined. 1. Obviously does find the dispute, so that would find between the type, and the creditor, and the account number, and the credit bureau, and the status. So it could be a method. 2. Another thing obviously, is with the bottoms, you can select all the ones to do, or all the ones in progress, or all the ones that have been deleted. It's a way to select, but we're not talking about selecting to print, necessarily, we're talking about selecting. Also, you can use these blue arrows to select, so you have a blue arrow here, so for example, if I want to select based on the type that is late payment, I can select all of them, or I can omit them, so I can do the opposite. Same thing with the account number. So you can do the same. You can select for example all the accounts that have this number, or I can select all the disputes with Equifax by clicking the blue arrow or TransUnion or Experian. Of course, I can select based on status. So I can say give me all the ones to do, here all the ones that say correction, etc. I can do all that. So we don't have any more blue arrows here, but we have one more here actually in the paid column. So within this paid column, you can select, for example, the ones to be paid, or all the ones that were paid. If you're doing paid deletion for example. And that would be very straightforward. And let's say that I want to select all the ones to be paid. So I can click here, do select here, and that will give me all the ones that are to be paid. Another thing, is you get even the summary total amount to be paid here. So that's pretty easy. I hope you like it. Thank you.